But still, like, you know, when you go on vacation, like me always, if I go on a trip, I'm always have my money regardless, like, period. So they bring the damn check to the table and the nigga get nervous. He like, Gosh. hold on, wait a minute. We was like, what's what's going on? What's going on? And I looked at that nigga, I was like, oh, like, I was like, chill, nigga, we got this shit. And I just, I was lip service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Stephanie Santiago. I'm L'Oreal. I'm Big Bang B, <laughs> Shapiro. Hey. <laughs> yeah, girl, ever since you got on Power, um, you know, you've been acting funny. <laughs> I have not been acting funny. Don't start. <laughs> it's been like a day. <laughs> she talking okay, about? Okay, right. Like, oh, she acting funny. Uh, I ain't fucking worried. <laughs> you know how people do that. When uh, everything's popping off, they be like, oh, she act funny now. Mm -hmm. I swear they just did that to me um, last night when I was on live. Somebody was like, because I was eating a cup of noodles, and then they was like, Girl, don't um don't be trying to act like you ain't just go Hollywood on us and you sitting there eating your noodles. You better humble yourself because this is the first show you've been. I said, I'm eating a damn cup of noodles and these ain't even the Raymond kind. I said, I don't, if this ain't humble, I don't know what is. I love <laughs> cup of noodles. What? Like what? I'm like y'all crazy. People are crazy. So you did see my comment on your live, okay? <laughs> that was you. Okay, period. <laughs> But for real, congratulations. So that was dope because, you know, I was watching. I watched that show. That was the second episode. I was like, hold on a second. That person looks familiar. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for real. How did that even come about? Because I know you was really excited about it. It seemed like you was keeping it a secret, too. So how did you do all of that? Yeah. So honestly, I've been keeping it a secret for almost a year because when I first heard about it, it was like, I think it was like last year of uh, October or November, but it's like, when it first came to me, they was like, hey, they want you to be on the show. And I'm like, what show? They're like, the spinoff for Power or whatever, it's gonna be Ghost. And I'm like, y'all, y'all kidding. Like, ain't no fucking way. Like, you know what I'm saying? So then like, I had also been already knew um, Michael Rainey who plays Tariq. Mm -hmm. I had been- uh, We person. all hate him. Everybody hates him. Not, oh my not God, Michael, so but funny. Tariq. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Because he would never be able to like escape that character. Like everybody, crazy. like they can't, they cannot stand that. But it's so funny. <laughs> but um, he is like, and by the way, outside of that, he is like such a great human being. Like here, he, like he is cool as fuck. So, um, I had met him like probably like two years prior to that, or whatever, two three years prior to that in the studio. Because he on the side, he makes beats and stuff like that. He has really good production too. So, oh, really, when I heard about it though, um, I was like, what the fuck? Like, what you mean? Like they want me to be on the show and stuff. <laughs> So I'm like, y'all need to find out the tea about this and, and, and see how accurate this is. Cause I'm like, I don't know if somebody playing with me or what. So then like the shit start keep on rolling in and they're like sending emails. And then my agent, he keep calling me. He's like, Keisha, this is serious. He's like, they need to know your schedule because you got to go up to New York and film. Nice. And I'm like, what the fuck you mean? So then I'm like, okay, well usually when I travel out of state or wherever, I travel with my agent and my two security guards. They're like, nah, you can't have nobody with you. I'm like, and at that moment, I'm like, somebody's trying to kidnap me. What the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what did I do for somebody to want to kidnap me? And so I'm like, oh my gosh. So then they actually like booked the flight, but then what well, was kind of like, a, like, I don't know, it was kind of like surreal, but then when they was like, they, they sent a text from the driver and the driver's like, oh, we're outside of your house. And I'm like, what the fuck? Then I get to the airport and they got the, you know what I'm saying? They got the signs with your name on it and all that type of stuff or whatever. So I'm like, oh, wait, wait. I'm like, this might be official. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then I pull up to the damn production studio and then we actually like walk in. They give me like a whole itinerary and everything. Like walk in, they take me to wardrobe and all this shit. So I'm like, oh shit, this is real. Like, I'm really finna be up in this bitch. Like, it was funny you did all of that without knowing if it was real. <laughs> I did all of that. Like, well, I was like, you know what? I was like, listen, I'm a big, I'm a big bitch. So I'm five eight. And I think like a motherfucking milkshake. So listen, I was like, I don't give a damn. If somebody try to come for me, I'm going down with a motherfucking fight. I'm not going down without a fucking fight. Like, I'm you gonna work your ass. If y'all try to motherfucking gang up on me, I'm gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna I'm a whoop your ass. I'm a, I don't know. Somebody gonna get hit. So <laughs> that stuff, you didn't even have to have no audition. They just knew they wanted you. Man, it was so crazy too, because when I was, I was, I hit Michael and I'm like, bro, I'm nervous. And he like, don't be nervous. He's like, it's literally you. He was like, they kind of like, I guess, I don't know. I don't know how it came up, but he said something like along the lines of like, the character is basically like brought up off of like me based off of me. And I don't know how true that is, but I was like, if this is the case, like what the fuck? He's like, literally all you got to do is just be yourself. But you know, like, you know, turn up a little bit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I was nervous as fuck. And I'm like, I can't even believe it. And then I get there 
and I'm around all these all the all the people that's in the series and you know what I'm saying I'm seeing different actresses and actors so I'm like oh shit like and mm -hmm. I didn't have to audition for this shit I'm like oh this is crazy like I'm so so fucking thankful like literally isn't it ironic that Tommy Lee just over the weekend was saying that she DM 50 and was asking yeah, yeah. for a role and he blocked her Gotcha. I don't know. I think I think that is ironic. It was crazy because I was like, okay, we're getting ready to, you know, everybody, the team, we getting ready to, you know, release this and come out with it or whatever. And then like, I I did see it, and then I'm like, oh shit. And then next thing you know, I was like, well, you hey, was like, I'm, I'm on power tonight. <laughs> I know. I'm on this. I'm on this. I'm on this. I'm on this episode, and you know, what I'm saying I'm on this. I'm on power tonight. So yeah, y'all go. Does fifty go follow you? Cable like. Texting my boyfriend like, oh shit! Like, I'm like, I'm having anxiety. I'm in here with all these motherfucking legends. Like, I don't know what the fuck. And they just, everybody's like, calm down, just chill. And I'm like, the whole time nobody knows this though. But I'm like getting nervous. I'm gonna have a fucking nervous breakdown. But I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Let me pull it together. Let me go ahead and say my lines and turn up in this bitch. Period. Right. So, ooh, all of that. And your man is at. What, so what was he doing at that time? Was he back in Atlanta? Where was he at? Yeah, he's in. He was in Atlanta. He was in Atlanta, so we we were always like FaceTiming and stuff like that or whatever. Like even when um like currently I'm in New York right now, but he in Atlanta, but he gonna come up here soon. But like when we not together, we be like on the on FaceTime. We fall asleep on the phone call on the phone call every day, every night. We fall asleep on the phone. Y'all be having sex on FaceTime? No, we don't. I mean, what masturbating? Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> Period. I gotta show him these titties. Okay, Period. <laughs> <laughs> this kid has got to be seen, baby, because I ain't seen you in a minute, so I got to show you, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you got to do what is the distance. You know? Period. You got to do what you got to do. You got to keep that shit spicy. You know? Who starts yeah, right. it, though? Who starts it? Is it you or him? Because y'all will be on the phone, and then is it just like, do you get the freakiness going, or does he? I'm so like, I don't know. I think sometimes he pop it off, but then sometimes I do, too, because I just be walking around with my titties out. So... <laughs> Well, that'll start something. Okay, okay, period. He or like I might be like in this outfit. Like if I was on Facetime with him right now, he'd be like, mm -hmm. he'd be like, show. He'd be like, I see that ass. He'd be like, show me that ass. So I'd be like, oh my god. Like okay, I like, baby. Period. He'd be like, he'd be like, let me see him. He'd be like, pull him out, and I'd be like, oh my god, here we go. <laughs> but you and know then, he takes, going and then he takes his stuff out too. You'd be like, take your dick out. I'd be like, yeah, let me see you. <laughs> 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 yeah, let me see that. Okay, period. So wait, do you all got like videos in your phone, sex videos of, with each other? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, like who don't <laughs> have sex videos? Like who don't man? They scared it might break down. I don't. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, we like, we've we've had them, of course. Um, but you know, when you get like new phones and stuff like that or whatever, like it just the shit just damn near go away. So fucking like, but you know, like it's just I don't know. Like we we've definitely had some though because you know what I'm saying it's just I don't know it's a spice it's a spice level to it like oh watch you hit it from the back oh yes yes <laughs> I, agree. I agree okay <laughs> do you ever be talking during sex and saying things and then be like what am I talking about oh I be let me tell you something when it kind of sex like it ain't no limits for me I be I turn into a whole motherfucker I don't even know porn star like and that's what he be like he be like you got such a body you be like your body is like a fucking porn star like he be like and then you just a freak and he's like your face like it's just everything so he his favorite porn star which is crazy is um do y'all know Lisa Lisa Ann yeah, she's been on the yeah, we we so, love Lisa Ann. Period. He said he love her. He be like, bro, he be like that bitch. He was like, when I was younger, like he was like, man, that bitch, like, oh my gosh. He was like, you remind me of her, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you the black version, like she's a little white. That's why you had to that's why I had to throw that in there, like black version, baby. Period. Yeah, she's she cool has a great personality too, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, she does. Yeah, yeah. She does. She's oh my god, I would love to meet her. Oh, like okay. I, I, we was. It's crazy because we was talking about like, what if I ended up like having her in a video of mine one day? Oh, something. I thought you was gonna say something else, yeah. Like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, damn, Big Bang Beach. <laughs> okay, period. Big Bang that freaking this bitch. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, now before you in a relationship, we gotta ask you some questions. Right. Oh yeah. Lord. This is based off your album, Clones. Okay. So we got some okay. questions. So have you ever been on a date with somebody and their card got declined? Card got declined. Yes. 
right. Actually, you know what's crazy is I done been on, I done fuck with an, listen. Go ahead. It's okay. I done fuck with some, I done, in my past, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like every girl <laughs> has a past or whatever of a different breed of niggas that we fuck with. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember fucking with a nigga and I had, we was out or whatever. And we, um, me and my friends, we had ordered drinks or whatever. We was in, we was in Miami and we had ordered drinks and shit. And so, um, we pull, he pulled up, you know what I'm saying, with his friends or whatever. And then, like, they bring the check. Mind you, it was just me and my friends. We just ordered some shots. But, you know, in Miami, them shots be, like, $25. Them shits be, like, $20. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. mm-hmm. and at the time, this was, like, before, like, all of this or whatever. But still, like, you know, when you go on vacation, like, me always, if I go on a trip, I'm always have my money regardless, like, period. So, they bring the damn check to the table, and the nigga get nervous. He, like... <laughs> Uh, Hold on, wait a minute. We was like, what's what's going on? What's going on? And I looked at that nigga. I was like, ugh. Like, I was like, chill, nigga. We got this shit. And I just, I went ahead and, like, paid for the whole tab. But I'm just like, you panicking and shit over a motherfucking a couple of Patron shots, which you're supposed to be the big boss. Like, you ain't no motherfucking boss. You's a penis. Now, hold on. How many people was it? Let's be fair. How many people? It was for me and my friend. It was probably, like, me and two other girls. Okay. I was counting eight in my head. I was like, no, 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 no. Oh, no. It, was like, it, was like, it was just me and my girl. So it was like, you know what I'm saying? At the time, we we was the only three that had like ordered the shots. So when they brought the check, he like, oh shit, like what's going on? Like what's that? What's that? Like and it's like, what you what you so damn nervous for? What you jumping right. for? Like what's up? Now, what if everybody would have ordered 1942 shots? Could you understand? No. It's no. not that much more. Exactly. It's not because in Miami, period. Like, it's not. The damn shot is already expensive regardless. <laughs> Just not- going to Miami, they like, you here, bitch, tax. Period. The time I was at dinner with a guy, we went to Noble. The tag came out to like $600, and his card was declined. I had to pay for it. No. <laughs> Did he pay you back? <laughs> He was a trap star, so he was like, don't worry about it. When we get back to the block, I'm going to give you the money right back. Uh, 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 uh. So, so he gave it to you. And he gave me the $600 in tens. Okay, 60 tens. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think tens. personally, like, if he give you the money back, then that's a different story. But it's motherfuckers, literally. And then sometimes, you know, like, I don't judge people if they card decline. The only reason why I don't is because sometimes the banks do be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be goddamn, I might be at the damn Louis store. Right. Then to make a purchase for motherfucking 2000 and then this shit is like, uh-uh, card decline, and then it's a text oh. that's like, okay, are you approving these charges? Right. And shit like yeah. that, you got to update. That's your happened list. to like, me before, for sure. Oh, for especially sure. Especially if you're traveling. Yeah, if you're not at home, and then they want to do- double check and make sure it's really you using it. Yeah, I, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not going to judge you that off that, because that shit happened to me all the time, or whatever, but I be letting them know, like, hold on, wait a minute, bitch, my name is Big Bang for a reason. Don't, don't motherfucking think that I'm not. <laughs> it still be slightly embarrassing when it happens, even though you know why. It is. Like, hold on, I got to make a... <laughs> Period. You know, what happens when it happens to me while I'm shopping and traveling, and I'll be like, the money's definitely in there. It's in there. Hey, they be looking bank. at you like, bitch, you broke. Like, you yeah. you like, no, uh-uh. I'm going to sit right I'm here. In the <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, in there on the phone. Like, can you, uh, come on? Like, <laughs> and they sitting there with the awkwardness. Like, oh, go ahead. Take your time. And I got an attitude <laughs> when it comes to those people. So I've been to curse the person out on the phone look even crazier. I'm not. Yeah. I get <laughs> and it be worse than that. You don't have no service. So you got to, like, walk out. <laughs> you your phone about to die. die. <laughs> <laughs> that one second. <laughs> They're like that bitch like, ain't coming, damn. Back. <laughs> coming back. Now, have you ever gotten a, a present from a scammer? A <laughs> present from a scammer? Yeah. A scam good. She like hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, like what bitch ain't we? You know we been of course and then, bitches done dated some scammers in their lifetime now. Like <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time a guy gave me a pair of earrings. He just gave it to me like from his hand, and I'm like, where did this come from? And yeah, baby and mama's the- ears. <laughs> that's the thing them gifts ain't gonna be wrapped up sometimes like <laughs> it come from the baby mama and he took the gifts back i know somebody that did that and i he- hope it's from her because I, it was looking like he robbed somebody listen mm. she's wearing the bracelet still to this day like i seen a picture and the bitch got on the baby mama bracelet i'm like girl if you only knew see uh uh-uh. <laughs> ain't playing no games ain't <laughs> So you know what? Would you be mad if it was a gift? It was a nice present. Like, look, let's say somebody gave you a Rolex, but you knew he took it back. Would you still take it? Took it back, like, but took it back from where? Like, uh, a mama? woman. Yeah, yeah, from another woman. Nice. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not doing that because it's like that's you not. Thought that's about, not you that's thought not about not it. <laughs> that's not from the heart. Like, you didn't like, really which kind of Rolex? This was not for me. Like, I'm not gonna. 
I'm not wearing no bitch hand me downs. You got me fucked up. Like, uh -uh. at least go and trade it in and get me a new one. Yeah, like, at least like what's up? <laughs> what would it be? Like, what if it was one that you really liked and wanted? Let's say it was two hundred fifty thousand dollars. And he told you, and he was honest. Two hundred fifty thousand dollar watch. I would take it. Um, <laughs> I it. might, I might take that bitch and be like, oh, let's go back in and trade that shit in for something else, like a new one or something. Gonna that shit. They gonna give you like seventy five thousand for the trade, and they not gonna give you nowhere near the or, same. Or, or updated or something. Put some diamonds <laughs> around the bit, like you know what I'm saying. There we something. go. Like, okay. Might as well do something. Mm -hmm. Period. Now, Period. Now, what if y'all broke up and he asked for something that he gave you back? Like, let's just say he did give you something that was really expensive, and then y'all broke up, and he's like, "All right, I'm gonna need that back." I don't know you. <laughs> exactly. I don't, I don't know you. We not playing them games. What's mine is mine. <laughs> you gave this to me. I don't know you. My numbers change. You can't reach me. You gonna have to. You gonna have to meet me from a fake page. You got me right. up. Prideful. I've been prideful in my life, and a guy will give me so many things. And every time we break up, I'm like, I don't need this shit. Take it all back. And then I go back home, and I'm like, damn. Why'd I do that? What the? Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it! I, I'm, I won't ever do it again. I'm, I'm not like, giving anything back. It was. I'm mine. not. Yeah, no, that's a gift and it's mine. Like, and he, also we've talked about this before. If I move on and get another boyfriend and I still want to wear my whatever I was bought by the other guy, I'm still gonna wear it. Like, unless you buy something better and replace it, it's mine. I'm wearing it. One of my exes, he didn't like me wearing anything um, that somebody else bought me. So I ended up selling everything the other person bought me. And like I said, he's my ex now. So mm. what'd you think about that? <laughs> yeah, my shit. Big Bang Bisha, you gonna still wear something from the ex? Hell no. I'm not. I, I can't do it. I ain't doing it. Wait, so like if he bought you something and you you would throw it out or something? What would you do? I done had a nigga buy me some Chanel shoes before and I gave him shits away because it's a wrap. Mm -hmm. So I see now, I'm not, I'm like, it's I mine. Ain't, I ain't even it was them. I, gave, I gave them away. I was like, here you go. I feel like shoes ain't going to remind me of somebody else though. Me neither. It's shoes, you know. <laughs> yeah. Jewelry like, clothing is different. Pieces, it's like clothing pieces, it just depends on like what it is, I guess. But if it's like, if it's jewelry, if it, if it was something sentimental, then I don't know. I don't think I would wear that in a yeah, new relationship. Yeah, sentimental is different, though. If it had, yeah, like, I, I'm not going to wear that in a new fuck relationship. Fuck that shit. But a but watch? Clothes, is a, a clothes to me, it's also like, fuck that shit. Like, fuck it. Shit, I get so many new, damn new clothes damn every day. Like, it's like, uh, fuck it. Like, whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> Right. Now, let's talk about your relationship. How did y'all decide to make it official? Because we fell in love at first sight. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but <laughs> but um, but it, me and me and my boyfriend, me and Coca, we are literally we were best friends. So, you know, like we had he had watched me like grow up from like a uh, little girl to like you know what I'm saying, a grown woman now. You know what I'm saying? So now hold on, I don't so know, like, how much older is he than you? I don't. I can't even. I can't disclose that information. But <laughs> you he's not that much older than me, though. He's really not. He's not that okay. much older than me. Not okay. at all. But, um, but yeah, so he, you know what I'm saying? It was just a moment in time where like, he was dating somebody, I was dating somebody, but then like, you know what I'm saying? I broke up with that person or we just kind of went our separate ways or whatever. And I just stopped, you know what I'm saying? Dating that person. And then he stopped or they was, he was having issues or whatever the case may be, or I don't know, it was just some, some shit going on, but we was always like, he was always that dude that like was telling me about these niggas, like how to act with these niggas and how to like, you know what I'm saying, move with these niggas and like, you know what I'm saying, don't waste your energy or, you know what I'm saying, just play shit cool and keep shit player, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. when I wanted to spaz out. Because mind you, I told you like, that was my best friend. So that used to be the nigga I used to call like, bro, like so-and-so, like how should I feel about so-and-so doing this? Da -da 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 -da. He like, just calm down. He like, just chill, just keep that shit cool. Keep that shit player, like, you know what I'm saying? Da -da 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 -da. And then like, you know, after our, situations with whoever we was dating or whatever it was just a moment where like I had got mad at his ass one time and um he because he said some crazy shit so I was being a crazy bitch I'm not gonna lie so I was being a crazy bitch we was in the car and he said some crazy shit to me or whatever what's and, crazy shit like what's yeah I want to know too we want to know what that means mm -hmm. he said some shit like this was mind you this was like I was on the come up so I think we was talking about something about somebody being on my song or something. And then he was like, 
he was just basically like he wasn't trying to come at me like no fucked up person. He was just trying to be like on some friend shit. He was like, I mean, well, right now you gotta goddamn work your way up. So because so and so, why would they want to do a song with you? Like, da -da 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 -da. Oh, but I, it was more so like how he how it came out. It was mm -hmm. like wrong. How he how he said it, it was wrong. So then I was being a crazy bitch, and I was like, you know what? Pull the fucking car. <laughs> I was like, pull the motherfucking car over. And so I got the fuck out, and then I started running down the street, and I'm on my phone like. Hey, so and so, come pick me up. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, this nigga that stopped in the middle of the damn street and he come down running to me and he, like, man, just chill, just chill. He was like, I didn't mean it like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just letting you know, like, I'm your friend. Like, da 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 da. -da. And what he, did, he put his arm, he put my arms around, like, you know, when you over over the shoulder, when you get a hug over the shoulder. So, it's like, you, y'all chest to chest. Uh huh. And he did that. And it was just like, we just hugged and we were just in the middle of the street hugging. And I was just like, it was like a fucking spark or some shit on some Cinderella shit. It was weird. Like, <laughs> and we was like, we just looked at each other like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it was just crazy. And then after that, like, he would be saying certain shit. And then he would like tweet certain shit. He'd be like, man, I done fell in love with this girl and all this other stuff. And I would ask him, I'd be like, well, who you talking about? And da, 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 da. But he wouldn't necessarily tell me. And then later on, he told me, he was like, I was talking about you. Sheesh, okay. Yeah. Well, wait, so, was he, so he was in a relationship during that time, but trying to get out of it? No, so it's like, he was, I don't know what the fuck his situation was. He was in a, he was in a relationship, but it was more so like he was getting, I guess he was getting out of it because the nigga used to just be like, he used to just be just like miserable, I guess. Like, I don't know what the fuck, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But he was like miserable. And then I guess like, you know what I'm saying? They like, he was trying to like go his separate ways and shit like that or whatever. So then it was like afterwards, it was just like, okay, me and him, like, you know, we just kind of like, it was it. And when, when I tell you me and him, we used to fucking hate each other. We used to, we could not stand each other. So it was crazy because like over the years we had built a friendship and all type of shit. So he knew like a lot of my deep, darkest secrets. I knew a lot of his. And then it was just like out of nowhere, it just like, it just happened. And you know, like sometimes you just can't help. You can't help who your soulmate might be, you know? And Why so, didn't like, you like him originally? Cause he used to be a motherfucking fuck nigga. Like I used to, I could not stand him like, we used to, he used to be talking shit about me, like, one time. What? <laughs> yes, he used to be talking shit because, like, one time, mind you, like, he met me when I was, like, maybe a fresh, like, 2013, 2014, probably. So, I was, like, you know what I'm saying, we younger and shit. And so, like, I remember he was, like, cool with a girl that I was cool with that was on the phone and stuff like that or whatever. And he didn't know. I was in the background, but he was talking shit on, he was talking shit on the phone to her about me. Wow. And I'm in the background, and he didn't even know. Like what? So, what kind of shit was he talking about? Your singing oh, ability? Oh, just saying like, yeah, like just saying like, man, she probably a hoe. She probably doing what? this and that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, That's like all kind of crazy shit. All kind of crazy. He shit. liked you back like, then. He liked you back yeah, then. Yeah, he didn't That's want her to be he around you. He was saying. He was saying. He was trying to get her away from you so that he could fuck with you. You get what I'm saying? You know what's so like, funny though It's because we literally be going. We 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 be going back and forth all the time. We be like. I'll be like, bro, you know that you like me back then. Like, you know you want to be He like, no, no, nah, no. Nah. You know you that you like me. Like, maybe I already know that you like me. Like, you know what I'm saying? You had feelings. I'll be like, no, nah, nigga. You was in love with my ass. Like, stop playing. Like, he's like, man, whatever. Like, we be going back and forth. It would be funny, though. So you all together when you... Oh, go ahead, Steph. No, I feel like when you when you when you're friends first and then you get into a relationship, the relationship is so much better because you don't have to go through that stage of getting to know each other. Yeah. You, you're already really honest with each other. You know each other's family and friends. So it's just it's just works. I, I, I really love this story. I do I do <laughs> feel like, you know, like, but with that too, it's like you know them on a friendship side, but you know, you also have to get to know them on a relationship side now that y'all are like you know, significant <laughs> others, and you guys are being sexual, like you being emotional that, with this that's person. That's awkward, right? After it's, it's 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 not awkward. It's not awkward because of the simple fact that you know the person. Mm -hmm. It's just like okay, now I have to. We have to learn how to maneuver with each other in certain situations. So now it's like okay, now I've known you for all these years, and you know what I'm saying. You are my nigga. Like we homies. Like you know what I'm saying. Everything got damn cool, but now. You show me a whole different side. Like I didn't cry in front of him. 
he ain't never, you know, before that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I wasn't trying to cry in front of him or nothing like right. that. But if I'm emotional now, it's like, oh, baby, like, what the fuck? And, you know, I'm telling him, like, I'm hard on myself sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Because this industry will drive you the fuck crazy. So, you know, sometimes I might have been depressed and break down or he'd be depressed and break down about shit, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, that's what it, that's what it take. Like, you know what I'm saying? So we still like it, but it's still for us. Though, although we've known each other for so long, it still feels so new because we keep it so like fresh. You know what I'm saying? We still discovering new things about each other, but it's like it's all love. Like you know. What was it like the first time y'all had sex? Oh, it was fucking amazing. Really? I think <laughs> with the first time we had sex, he was talking to me while he was in it. He was like, "See, he was like, I see why the motherfuckers be going crazy over your ass." He was like, "Cause what the fuck?" And then like the second time, we had sex like five times in a row. Wow. It was insane. <laughs> Five times? Okay. It was insane. Yes. Like I see where the this. music comes from now. I see where the music comes from now. <laughs> yeah, like it was insane. Like Five times, like we was like going back to back. He was like, I don't know what the fuck this shit. He was like, I ain't never did no shit like this. I was like, I haven't either. Like, what the fuck? Like, it was just crazy. Like, and then I remember one time I didn't want him to go to the studio and he was like, shut the fuck up. And he came in and he, he had sex. He would be me over that counter in the kitchen. And he left my ass. He left and went to the motherfucking studio. And I was like, oh, fucking fine ass nigga. Like, what the fuck? So, so let me ask you a question. Oh, I was going to say back to what you were saying that when he said the guys be going crazy, what did he mean by that? Like, what do he know about how guys feel about you? What guys be going crazy? Because, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? He knew, like, you know, on a friend level, he knew, like, you know what I'm saying, why niggas would just be like, or if I, if I was talking to a nigga or dating a nigga at a certain time or whatever, like, he would, he would be there. He would be there, like, during the experience of while I'm with these niggas. You know what I'm saying? So it would be like, he would witness shit himself, like, you know what I'm saying? He done seen niggas be in my DMs, like, losing it, going fucking crazy, like, oh, you better fucking call me type shit like that or whatever. So he like, I I understand why, like, bitch, you fine as hell and you got some good pussy. <laughs> <laughs> got that why? Okay, period. <laughs> hey. So let me ask you a question. What made you say, all right, I'm going to do Love and Hip Hop and bring my real boyfriend who I really love on there. Because if you look at the track record of how Love and Hip Hop goes, nine times out of ten, they're getting in between relationships and they're breaking them down. People that's been together for years, you know? So what made you say, like, all right, I know we stronger than this. Let's just go in this together. Because, like, it's more so. Well, first of all, they, I think they, they really came to us more so like for us because we're in a relationship so i mean shit i don't know like you know what i'm saying at the end of the day i would say this like reality tv is reality tv it's it, it's reality to a certain extent and at the end of the day we not we so damn cool like outside of that being like my, my man like that's my nigga you feel me so it's like that's my homeboy like that's my homie so it's like we so damn tight. It's like, can't nobody break this shit. And mind you, like, we've been in the music industry together. We have gotten on the billboard, ch or billboard charts together. We've had hit records on the radio charts together. We've been signed to the same label, all type of shit. So it's like, during all that time, a lot of people was trying to, like, separate us and do this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Break us apart. But it's like, literally, we overcome it. And it's like, you have to see the bigger picture when we together. Because when we together, it's motherfucking fire. Like, we got a whole fan base. He got his own fan base. I got my own fan base. And then we have our own fan base together. Like, it's a lot of big shit that happens with us together. So it's like, why not? Like, and then... If y'all can defeat the, love and hip-hop, y'all can defeat anything. Oh, for sure. That wasn't nothing, That's like, Bowser right there, like, the last oh, yeah, for round. Sure. That wasn't nothing. Like, we, we, we not... Because the thing about it is, like, and on top of that, like, you know what I'm saying? And, and shout out to love and hip-hop. But, you know, like, with that being said, but still, it's like... Our life ain't out outside of that. Our life is so fucking lit. Like we not, we not no fucked up people. We not no ill hearted people. We good. We we cool as fuck. We genuine as fuck. Like we a vibe. Like you know what I'm saying. Like everybody come over our house. We got them be chilling. We drinking. We laughing. We talking about you know what I'm saying. Next moves and making bigger moves and shit. So it's like when you get over here to this show. Oh, it's showing that. Oh, they trying to pull the drama out, but really. The reason why we don't really have drama with each other because 
we don't really have that in real life. Like, mm -hmm. you know, of course we have our issues or whatever, like we have issues, but our issues would be about business related shit. If we get into an argument, it'd be about, it'd be about business. Like, right. or because he might've been being too hard on me, but the, uh, but the, the, the good thing about it is because he being hard on me because he believed in me. Mm -hmm. So he pushes me to be a better, a better me. Even if he just said some shit that come out of his mouth that comes off wrong, but it's like, that's our issues. Our issues ain't never about, oh, uh, who cheating on who or who, who, who hiding this from who and all this other shit or whatever. Like, our issues ain't that. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we like, we thankful and blessed for that because, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that go through that shit. But do he look at me like, he basically says all the time, like, man, you my best friend outside of this shit. And I don't witness niggas do you wrong. I don't witness niggas try to play you, talk shit about you and all this other shit or whatever. Use a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? You got shit going on for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Even before you had shit going on, you was always just, you know what I'm saying, a good-hearted person. Mm -hmm. You a sweet girl. So ain't no way in the world that I could go out there and disrespect you with all of this. You 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 got all of this shit, and I'm, then I'm supposed to be your homeboy. So, like, that'll make me feel bad. That'll make me motherfucking depressed if I go out there and embarrass you. Right. That's why everybody be like, oh, he your biggest fan, because that that's my nigga. Like, he support me through every fucking thing, period. Now, what about the close girlfriends you had around you before you and him got together? Did they start to feel a little bit funny about the fact that they were basically replaced by him? Because he's your best friend and your nigga. So you're going to spend more time with him, obviously. So did anybody feel any kind of way about that? Oh, bitches felt some type of way. <laughs> because let me tell you something. Like, bitches felt some type of way. And on top of that, bitches, bitches used to like him. Uh -huh. I ain't gonna lie, like, he probably done fuck some of them hoes, like, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying, back in the day, like, right. you know, what I miss, so, <laughs> mind you, like, but while we're friends, you know what I'm saying, he done probably fucked some of them bitches and all type of shit or whatever, but, you know, like, the thing about it, I always say, like, we, me and him being together wasn't trying to be on no facetious shit, yeah. we literally came together, it was random, it was, I don't know, it's God, like, I don't know, like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, oh yeah, we finna goddamn fuck with each other so we can get back and so and so and so and so. It's no, it was literally like a just a authentic type of feeling. Like it was just fucking, I don't know. It just happened. So, but bitches did start. You know, I I can tell when bitches was acting a, a different type of way, or bitches was being sneaky trying to figure out if we was talking to each other or whatever the case may be. And they was trying to get his attention while they felt like, oh, well, they might have an idea of, oh, okay, they dating and shit like that. And they was your friend. Some of these people. Some Damn. of these people. But guess what? I don't talk to none of them bitches no more. Because <laughs> they wasn't really your friend. So. They wasn't really my friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people, it's crazy because it's like, how I look at myself, I'm such a, I'm a just, I'm just a down ass bitch. Like, you know, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. I don't give a fuck right or wrong. I'm going to be on your motherfucking side. Now, I'm not going to ever embarrass you publicly, but if you my friend, I am that friend that's going to be blunt with you and tell you, like, I'm going to put you to the side behind closed doors and let you know what you can do to maybe fix your situations or whatever the case may be where you went wrong yet. Right. But to the public, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm riding with you. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I'm riding with you because that's, that's just what it is. Like, you my bitch, so I'm fucking with you. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of bitches just started getting, like, besides themselves, a lot of bitches wasn't even supporting me. Mm -hmm. And I supported bitches all day, every motherfucking day. So it was like, you know what I'm saying? It did hurt my feelings because it was like, at one point in time, it hurt my feelings. Now it don't because I ain't talked to bitches in like years and so. Yeah, but fuck yeah, fuck them. But <laughs> it's like, you know what I'm saying? It did hurt my feelings because it would be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? I supported all these girls or these people, even niggas, like, you know what I'm saying? I supported people genuinely. I was always supporting people, being nice to people, being honest with people, you know what I'm saying? Giving them the benefit of the doubt. And now it's just like, okay, you know what I'm saying, when it was my time to shine or, you know what I'm saying, I'm coming up, bitches wasn't supportive or bitches was trying to count my pocket. Bitches was mm -hmm. being on some hating shit behind closed doors, not understanding, like, oh, that shit was going to come back to me. You right. know what I'm saying? You can't talk about me to right. my folks because guess what? My folks going to come back and tell me. Right. And you had a long path to get here, too. I read about how you was homeless, living in your a car. Long. Yeah, I did. I was. Mm -hmm. And that's another reason why me and Coca, we so like this, because during that time, I was, first of all, I was living with a roommate, and and me and the roommate's sister got into it. So I was like, bitch, fuck you. I'm finna motherfucking go. I don't know what the fuck I'm finna go do, but I'm finna go motherfucking. I gotta move. I gotta leave. But going back to my mama house was not an option, because my mama a Virgo, and I'm a Virgo. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, your birthday. Yeah, happy yes. birthday. Yes. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And my mama's birthday was just what yesterday. Wow. So it's oh great. My, yes. my mom's birthday was yesterday too. Period. 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 My mom's birthday next week. You going through, girl? You wasn't going. I love Virgo. Period. But two Virgos in a house together, uh, it, it's it, it, it women at that. When something go wrong, <laughs> it go wrong. Like, it go wrong. So, you know what I'm saying? And plus, on top of that, like, my mama had eight kids. It's eight of us. Five girls, three boys. I didn't want to be another burden. Like, girl, you done mm. raised me. You done did what you had to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Let me go try to figure this shit out on my own. Like, I had to tell her the other day. Well, one time, because she had caught me because she had seen a love of hip-hop shit or whatever. And you know what I'm saying? She had read about, or people like, oh, well, why you, why she was homeless? Why she saying da 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 And she was like, why are you saying that? And, da -da -da -da. and I had to tell her. I was like, mom, I said. At the end of the day, I had to go through that. Like, I wasn't going to go back to your house or whatever the case may be because I had to go through that because you had eight of us. Like, it's your time to relax now. Like, I'm not mm. trying to be another burden on you, on you. Like, I already got my own shit going on. It wouldn't be fair to you. You only, you, you know what I'm saying? You getting older. Like, it wouldn't be fair to you to put my bullshit on top of the shit that you already got going on. Ooh, sound like me, child. Period. So that, I, I, but, but it helped talking me. about somebody else. It, but, it, but, it, but it helped me in the long run. And so, like, back to, like, with the whole homeless shit, like, yeah, like, I had quit a job. I was working at fucking Top Golf. I don't know if y'all have ever been there. Yes. I Top hate Golf. that place. I suck. <laughs> I I was, that's a cute I was date place. There. That's a cute date place. I, I can't it's play for this. Oh, I know you saw a lot of people creeping. The drinks oh. ain't strong enough for me to be able to golf. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, well, it just depends on who the bartender, because, you know, when <laughs> us working there, we used to, you know what I'm saying, finesse all the way. Pour me an extra shot. Up in I know that's right. <laughs> Period. But, I mean, I used to work at Top Golf, and then, like, I was like, I, I thought I was going to be motherfucking corporate Top Golf in that bitch. Like, I didn't know, <laughs> but, you know, I always imagined myself being, like, a star as well, too. But, you know, it was like, it, was, it had to be a come up. But I ended up quitting that, and I didn't know what the fuck I was going to do. But, during that time when I was homeless, like I had, I was driving my Hyundai. I had a Hyundai, gray Hyundai, living out of my fucking trunk. I remember um, one of my god brothers, he was in jail at the time or whatever. So he had let me stay in his place while he was gone. But his girlfriend was staring there at the time. And then I was like, it was just too much going on. So I was kind of like living out of my car. And then, you know, Coca, he was always the person that I could just talk to and tell him like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't happy right now, but he would be like, you know what? I'm going to get you a hotel. He wouldn't go to sleep until he found me a hotel to go stay in. Wow. Mind you, while he was doing that too, like, you know what I'm saying? He was in a relationship at the time. But, you know what I'm saying? We so damn cool. Like, we on the phone all the time. Like, every, every morning, every night. Like, he like, you know what I'm saying? You good? You good? Let me make sure that, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to try to get this hotel for you this, for this night. And da 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 He and cared he about to to, you. You could tell. He did. He really does. He really does. And and he would try to make me like make the situation sound better. He'd be like, "Man, you lit. Like, you in a hotel. You in a nice hotel. You know what I'm saying?" Da, 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 da. And I'm like, "Nigga, please. I don't want to be living in a hotel. Lit. <laughs> that's not lit." I'm like, he was like, "Man, don't worry about it." He was like, "Man, like, you know what I'm saying? There's people out here that's on the streets." He was like, "Man, I, uh, I'm gonna make sure that you got a roof over your head every night." You know, and mind you, I didn't have to come out of pocket for none of this stuff. Mm -hmm. But then it was just one day, my first time ever going to IKEA was with him. <laughs> Literally. I can't. And he was like, yes. And he was like, and that was the first time, so I had never been there. So, you know, like, when you go to Ikea, they got rooms set up, mm -hmm. all that shit. I'm like, oh, shit, shit, fire as fuck. And he was like, yeah. He was like, man, all people got to do is just come in here and look and just search. You know what I'm saying? He was like, people don't take the time out to just look. He was like, this shit don't even be that much. You can get this for 200 get this for 300 Next thing you know, you got a little something to put together, like, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I got to get my spot. I was like, I don't feel comfortable staying in no damn hotels. I'm hiding this shit from people because I didn't want people to see me in a damn hotel. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done had, I done been through some shit. I done, I, I done had the, you know, done, done, done had scammer pieces on hotels and all type of shit. We done had the goddamn wake up the next morning and hurry up and pack up and, and get the fuck out of the hotel because security finna come at the door. Like, all type of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just crazy shit. And I was like, Literally the next day, I think it was like a day or two after that, from the Ikea trip, I woke up and I was like, I'm finna just try it. Because he kept on saying like, man, just try to get an apartment in your name. Like, you never know until you try. I went, I literally looked at three apartments that day. The third apartment was the apartment that I looked at it 
and they had it available and they was like, okay, well we had this available. And I was like, I want to apply right now. Mm -hmm. I applied and they was about to close. They was like, okay, so you got approved, but they was like, you'll have to, you know, at the time my credit wasn't right. Put so some extra like, money to, down. Child. Yeah. You have to put some extra <laughs> money down. Oh yeah, yeah. like I know this part. I used to have messed up credit, but I'm yeah. together now. Period. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, so and by and by that time too, like during this time, I had already released like two records or whatever, but I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? I'm just releasing some shit, just just doing shit, not even really knowing. Mm -hmm. And at the time my manager had called me, he like, man, do you know that in your in this account you got like four thousand dollars <laughs> just stacked up and i was like You're what, like, what? <laughs> so i'm like oh i'm gonna go get my motherfucking apartment so the the people at the in the leasing office they like all right i was like listen they was like we've been to close i was like listen i was like please stay right here i said i'm gonna go right there to the kroger get a damn money order and i'm gonna come give y'all this money right the fuck now mm -hmm. i said because I'm, I'm trying to be responsible i don't know what the fuck i don't know what type of money i might have tomorrow so <laughs> Let me go to the Kroger and go do this and get you the money order. He was like, all right, I'm going to wait. He waited. I came back, got the money order. He was like, okay. He was like, tomorrow morning, you can just come over and pick up your keys, your key fob, da 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 da, da you in. Yay. And I just remember, like, walking <laughs> into the apartment, and I was like, I literally broke down in tears because I was like, what the fuck? Like, uh, I just, that's amazing. I had been through so much. Like, it was just so much. And I was like, damn, this is my shit. And then, like. It's crazy because I only stayed in that damn apartment for three months before Coco was like, uh-uh. He got his new spot, and he was like, no, nah, you finna stay with me. You was like, well, nigga, why you ain't say that three yeah. months ago? I could have saved $4,000. <laughs> like, what's up? Like, I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, nah, like, you finna stay with me. Like, uh-uh, you ain't going back home. So mind you, I'm over here paying a whole nother rent. <laughs> and he paying, he paying, and I'm over here with him. And I'm like, okay, I just got a whole vacant ass house, and it was fully furnished and everything. Damn. <laughs> Now, let me ask you this about your deal, right? Because you're signed to Hitco. That's L.A. Reid's label, which is... I'm not signed. Oh, you're not? Mm -mm. Okay, so why do I think you signed there? And everything I see is like, she signed a deal. I mean, because that was, that was the beginning stages. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I was I was signed. Okay. So right. now you're independent. Yeah, now I'm independent. I've been independent for about a year and a half now. Mm -hmm. You like that life better? I'm not going to lie. Like, it's like... You know, I feel like certain labels are for certain people. Um, I do feel like, you know what I'm saying? I will say like L.A. Reid, he gave me the opportunity. Like that's a that's a big, that's one of the biggest music execs in the world to ever exist. Because you know what I'm saying? He's, he's you know, he's, he's, re he's responsible for a lot of the stars that we see today. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Like to have him believe in me and give me a chance, it was just, you know what I'm saying, amazing. Mm -hmm. But, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know how the music industry goes. Sometimes you have to go your separate ways and just go discover different things. So I feel like right now with this independent shit that I've been on, like it's crazy. I've been doing shit. I've been doing way more shit independently. It's it's insane. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm on TV. I'm on Love and Hip Hop. No, I, <laughs> no management, no label. I'm on Revenge Prank on fucking VH1 and MTV. No management, no label. Now I'm on a fucking number one series in the fucking world. Like major. You know, no label like you know what i'm saying so it's like and you know i just put out a project it that charted on the apple charts and stuff like my monthly listeners going up like i'm getting so much like great feedback so it's just it's it's amazing to see what i can do like independently like right. and i'm still putting numbers up on, on the board so it just and that's why i said it in queen kong I, i'm like doing better than these bitches and i ain't even got a deal like Cause that's facts like it's, it's people that's in deals or that might be in fucked up deals that, that don't even get like certain type of looks or experiences or you know what i'm saying things that can just come to them but with for me i, I just feel like it's, it's god like god got me he got me so so tight like he got his hands wrapped around my career because it's like right. i went through some shit i went through some shit i went through a lot of shit like i hit the i, I went through a depression state when i was signed like because it was just a lot like mind you i had ride good was going fucking crazy on the radio i had really three records on the radio going yeah, crazy do. yeah yeah, I had three records on the radio going fucking crazy during that time. I was depressed as fuck. Hmm. What were you doing? Why Why were you depressed? Because it was just like, I don't know. Like, we was on a radio tour. It was just a lot. Like, me and Coca, that's another reason why we just so tight again. Because we go through a lot of situations um, around. Uh, we go through a lot of situations together. Like, whether it be with people, whether it be with situations or whatever the case may be. But I don't know. Like, I just felt like, you know, people was trying to change me at the time. You know what I'm saying? People was, you know, in this music industry, you, you meet a lot of people that's that's fake in your face. 
mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? They try to act like they cool with you or they support you. And then behind the scenes, they talk, call me ghetto wretched ass bitch and all this other shit or whatever. And I just felt like, you know, a lot of people was trying to change me or I couldn't be who I wanted to be or it couldn't be me. But, you know, I'm like, at the end of the day, that just it just goes hand in hand. Like when people try to change me, I'd be like, for what? Like, why? Because I've gotten here off of me being me. Yeah, so it was, it was like, all you know, very organic. organic. It wasn't it wasn't even planned. It was all kind of organic the way it happened. Organic. Like I didn't get no damn handouts. I didn't get no cosigns. I never had no big ass cosign. Never had no big ass like even even with LA Reed signing me, like, you know what I'm saying? That's one of the biggest music execs in the world. But still, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I still had to hold my own. Right. Of course I had to hold my own, just as any other artist should. You know what I mean? Like every artist should try to be as organic as possible. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like once once that goes away or once you might have those cosigns or whoever, they might go away, they might stop fucking with you. What you got to what you got to represent for yourself? Right. What you got to bring to the table for yourself. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I ain't have no big cosigns and all of this shit like that or whatever. It was literally hard fucking work. Like, I'm talking about literally waking up at five o'clock in the morning. Can't, got to go do interviews. Can't lace all fucked up. <laughs> can't even beat my face, bitch. Motherfucking eye boogers, all type of shit. Like, I'm looking fucking dusty as fuck in the fucking interviews, but I got to go up here and got to go show love to these people that's showing love to me and, you know what I'm saying, meet these people around the world because they supported my shit. So, you know what I'm saying, and that's just what I had to do. Like, people don't understand that. It's a lot of stuff that goes behind behind the, behind the closed doors and behind the scenes that just goes down. All, all Everybody else see, they just see the product. Right. They just see what we put out. They don't see, like, it's hella fucking tears. It's nights where we don't go to sleep. It's motherfucking fights. It's, it's goddamn hell. Sometimes I might not even damn eat. Yeah. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I'm losing weight. You know what I'm saying? Because I just can't even fucking focus right now. Like, or I feel like I'm being overlooked at times or whatever the case may be. So I was just, it was just depressing. Like, and I remember one time, like LA, he said, you act like you ain't got no motherfucking top five record on the, on the, on the charts. And I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, I don't even know. Like, I was just like, I don't even know how, like how to even like, cause it's, it's such a big moment and it's such an exciting moment, but it's like when you going through some shit personally, Mm-hmm. within yourself or whatever the case may be it's like damn like how can i enjoy this you know what i'm saying like i want to enjoy this shit so bad but it's like I i'm just dealing can't. with some other shit right but would you sign to another label now that you do have so much more to bring to the table a lot more experience and nine times out of ten your first deal is always your worst deal so would you be interested in you know if a label was looking right now would you be interested in a major yeah, I'm always, I'm always open. I wouldn't even say that my first deal, my first deal was lit. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Not like, worse. Reed, I mean, you know yeah. what you go like through. He, L.A. Though. Reed, like, that's one thing I, I would say. Like, L.A. Reed, he set me up for success. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Just to even have that, just to even have that on my, on my, you know what I'm saying? On my resume, like, L.A. Reed, like, come on now. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he set me up and I, and I just feel like, you know, it, 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 now it's my time to goddamn fly. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, he gave me my wings, now it's time to motherfucking fly. So, of course, I would definitely be open you know what I'm saying? But they just got to come with that back. Because <laughs> a big back <laughs> needs the motherfucking back, baby. I know, you know that's right. Like, we coming with some <laughs> shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? My thing is this, and that's why I, I always be bragging sometimes. Some, you know, I'm humble, of course, but when it's t- my time to brag about being independent, like, yo, like, bitch, I'm doing a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Independently. Like, right. I, cause I, and I went through a lot of shit, but I'm doing a lot of shit independently. So, yeah, like, if it was a, if it was a record label that wants to you know, sign me or whatever the case, absolutely. But we're going to have to sit down and we're going to have to talk about some things. Because right. I'm coming to the table with a whole lot of shit. What if they ask you to change your name? Because there's been controversy around your name, especially in the times of how things are going. And I've seen some people say things to you about doing the whole light skin, you know, situation. How do you feel about the people that have something to say about that? Um, I feel like, first and foremost, I've addressed things like years ago, first and mm-hmm. foremost. And my name has been Light Skin Keisha for, I don't know how long, years now. So it's like, you know, I don't, when I, when I, when I called myself Light Skin Keisha, I was not coming at it from a colorist uh, standpoint, uh, you know what I'm saying, point of view, or I'm not coming at it from a discrimination or, oh, I'm better than you because my skin color is this or whatever the case may be. Like, that's never been my motive because regardless Regardless how people see me, whether they think I'm light skin, dark skin, brown skin, whatever, I'm a black girl. And I ain't hiding away from my blackness, you know what I'm saying? Like, period. I I, I love it here. Period. I would not <laughs> thank you God that I'm black. You know what I'm saying? Like I would right. I wouldn't want to be nothing else because at the end of the day it is what it is. 
So I just, to those people though, like I just be feeling like, why is that your first instinct when you see light skin Keisha? Because then there's people that- you know, some of these kids ain't seen belly. They don't even get the reference. <laughs> they, they don't, don't yeah. even get the reference. They don't, they get don't the even reference. get the reference. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and on top of that, like they see, they be like, okay, well, she got too many stories. At the end of the day, like it's, it's, a, it's a description for me. If you, if I'm looking right. at you right now, I'm gonna say you light skin. Or if I'm looking at somebody else, I'm gonna say, okay, brown skin. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's, uh -oh. that's all it is. <laughs> I thought so, I was brown skin because you can't tell me. You <laughs> yeah, period. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I'm like. This melanin is popping over here. Okay, period. So I'm like, you know, like, I'm just like, regardless, like, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of what you think I am, I'm black, baby. And they don't even understand uh, the other situation of me. If I'm a colorist, why am I why am I praising a, a dark skinned woman? You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm a colorist, people just be throwing that 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 word around. Like they just right. be like just using it because they just want to say something. But it's like my name also uh, uh, other than you know what I'm saying, it being the description and people being able to you know what I'm saying, oh that's that's light skin Keisha or you know what I'm saying. It's also because Belly is one of my fucking favorite movies, mm -hmm. and that's you know you that's do. been my favorite yeah. movie since I was you like one of my. Fun. You like you gotta let the youth know. Like, listen, you don't understand my ma my name. Watch Belly. Right. You know Period. Saying? If you don't understand my name, watch Belly because <laughs> Keisha and Belly was that bitch. Period. It's like she was that bitch. Definitely she was a boss bitch. Like I love her. Like I love right. her. And I I've watched that movie since I was like young as fuck. Like from Belly, Minister Society, all that shit. Like. I, I loved her. Like, that was they being the Kiana's. Then we like, don't come know on, no now, fucking like, Kiana's. <laughs> you know, so, so for me, it's just like, would I ever change my name? Absolutely not. Because if I change my name, then that mean that I just, I, I, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like I wasn't true to, to, to who I am. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody to ever look at me and be like, oh, well, you know, she thinks she better than this, da 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 da, da. I don't think, I don't think none of that. I know that, you know what I'm saying, I bring some shit to the table and I am who I am, but why would I change my name now? Right. And, now, and I'm not going around saying that you have to call me light skin Keisha. You can call me Keisha. You can call me Big Bang Keisha. I've been calling Big myself Bang Keisha. Keisha. Period. I've like been calling Keisha myself Big Bang Keisha for, <laughs> for years now too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I said, I said, you know what? Everything, everybody, I see so many littles. Little this, little that, little this, little that. And oh, shit God. about me little. Bitch, I'm going big on these hoes. Period. Hey. All right, now, last question before we get out of here. Um, so I was watching about Real Housewives of Potomac. I don't know if y'all watched that show. But uh, Ashley is saying that in order to see if her husband's cheating on her, she always makes sure she texts all his messages and she sniffs his underwear. Have, have any of y'all ever sniffed your man's underwear or done any anything to figure out if he's cheating? Like, what are some things that you've done that's embarrassing to see if your man was cheating on you? I smelled some, one time I caught my man with a girl, I caught him. And um, you didn't need to smell she had on a pair of his sweatpants. She had on a pair of his sweatpants. I've told this story before. She had on a pair of his sweatpants. So when I got to the house, because I made him kick her out, I was spazzed out. I was like, oh, you think you're cute with this girl in your house? All right. She thinks she she thinks she playing house up in there, and now she gotta go. So when I got to the house, I was doing his laundry, and I smelled the sweatpants that she had on. And they, oh yeah, I do remember you saying. I told this story, and they stunk. They smelled oh, shit. Ass. It was gross. Oh, uh, why did you smell that though? I can't believe you smelled that bitch. That's I, nasty. I, I, said, I, smell, I didn't even put it to my nose. I just smelled it like <laughs> And I was like, ew. And I went to him and I was like, oh, you do you fucking with girls who don't know how to clean their eyes? Cool. Cool. <laughs> cool back. <laughs> he probably thought you was psycho though. Like, bitch, did you just sniff out my and, he like, and then he was like, hey, you still here. <laughs> put right. those sweatpants <laughs> on to get in the bed. Yeah. Put those sweatpants in the dryer now. They yeah. just... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty bad you might you might have took the cake on that one i mean i done been through like i done been through a nigga phone and shit i think yeah i done been through a nigga phone but sniffing draws i ain't never did that i done went through the garbage in the bathroom a little like, oh yeah go through the garbage oh bathroom. you know what you know what you just reminded me i have done that i'm not gonna lie i have to that's, that's the best way to see if somebody's cheating if you see some hairs <laughs> that's right here or Always. If you don't but check it's only because it's only because when I came in, this is not in my my relationship now. This is in a previous relationship. But 
I, when I came in and I was cleaning the nigga house and I seen fucking condom wrappers in the damn, like, in trash. That's how I'm they get like, they what, what the fuck? That's how I you get them. I seen a piece of the Trojan shit or whatever, and I'm like, what the fuck? And then, like, I look in the trash can or whatever, and it's condom. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then, of course, you know, when you ask a motherfucker, they what? Nah, that's so and so because he got down, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. here, oh, and he, he was fucking in your bed. <laughs> like, nigga, don't play with me. I'll deck your shit right now. <laughs> 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 no, but for real, I feel like if you don't check the garbage as soon as you go in the bathroom, then you don't like that nigga. Because I feel like, uh, like off top, even if like I just start talking to you, I just kind of peek a little bit. I may not like. You see some random hairs that's not the same color as it's your hair. It's a dub. You look at the floor first. You ain't even got yeah. to get to the garbage. Period. One time I was on with my man, and I was like, "Let me see the garbage." I was like, "Let me see the garbage." <laughs> Stop, Benita. <laughs> So he shows me, and I see a rapper in there. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? That's a condom rapper. It was a Twix. <laughs> and he picks it up, and he's like, no, this is a blunt rapper. <laughs> and I was like, OK, I'll speak to you later. I'll call you back. <laughs> it's interesting. People will put up with certain things. I don't know if you saw Andrew Gillum. Um, oh, God. He was running for mayor, uh, I mean, for a governor of Florida. He was the mayor of Tallahassee. He just did his first interview since his big scandal where he got caught with pictures in the bedroom with an, in a hotel room with another man. Oh, man. And him and oh, his wife God. was on, yes. Him and his, his, his wife were on camera hall today. And basically he said he is bisexual and his wife is like, you know, this we can understand and work through certain things in our relationship. Oh, wow. She knew that from the beginning and she was the beard. Or she's so embarrassed, she don't know what else to say, or he's paying her a hefty fund. Because I can't imagine just being it's okay, he takes dick sometimes, and I just found out with the rest of the world, but we're still, like, I couldn't, me personally. We don't know when she found out. Well, I know when I found out, you know? Okay, period. <laughs> <laughs> we like, yeah, you know, we just, we go, no, I, no, I can't, uh, I'm good on that. Yeah, is cheating, why. is oh. cheating a deal breaker? For me? With mm -hmm. a man, or just any? No, just oh. a, <laughs> like, in general, not with a man. <laughs> I'm fucking dead, period. Okay, but um, <laughs> for me, I mean, absolutely, because I feel like shit. I bring, I should, I'm just, I feel like in my head, you know, everybody, every woman is supposed to feel like they're that bitch. So it's like I'm that bitch. I come with the fucking full package. I don't give a damn. I cook, I clean, I suck dick good, I fuck good. You know what I'm saying? I rap good, I act good, bitch. Like I got that money, I got that. You know what I'm saying? Like when you my nigga, I'm gonna motherfucking spoil your ass. You know what I'm saying? With all this motherfucking love. Look at these titties. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is a lot. So I we, I don't, I, we see them. Listen, you, I, know people, I know people watch this episode from, from the beginning to see if something would pop out, but no, nothing popped like, out. I, I thought like not. about three times. I thought. You know what's crazy though? I'm, I'm really interested in, in, in getting a uh, breast reduction though. Same. So when you find right. your Oh my gosh, what size are you? I'm not telling you on here. <laughs> I have a really big chest. Like, well, can we get you on OnlyFans first? Oh hell no! <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I just, I just send you some pictures, uh, Angela. Period. <laughs> Yo, DM, send you some little night, late night pictures. You know, Everybody's like, like, are they gonna pop out? What's happening here? No, nah, no, nah, these these pictures is locked up. These pictures is locked up. So I'm very interested in getting a, a breast reduction. So if y'all got any good doctors that y'all can request, like let me know because I'm very interested because I'm I feel like they might be they just might be too big. Like I don't know. Who do we know they just had a breast reduction? Somebody just I know a few people. I don't know if they're comfortable. Oh, what about Tammy Rivera? She had one. Oh Tammy Really did she? Yeah. I'm gonna ask her. Mm -hmm. She had hers. I'm and ask she her. looks good. So um Laura. You said what? Didn't Laura have one recently? No, she had a lift. Oh. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Anyway, I just want to tell you congratulations, though. I think you have an amazing personality. <laughs> yeah. Out now. now we listen to that. It's a fun-ass album. Mm -hmm. Thank you. To, so you can have a good time. We love seeing you and Saucy Santana together, too. That's Yes, our we love him. That's my <laughs> bitch, period. That's my sister. <laughs> but really, he was, just over here. he was just over here yesterday in New York with me. So we, we were shooting a whole bunch of um, content, too. So that should be coming out soon. Oh, we can't wait to see that. Are you going to be on the rest of this season of um, Power Book 2? Yes, I am. Yes. I'm right. yeah. in New York. So I'm in New York. Uh, we're quarantining right now or whatever. But, you know, in a couple of days or probably like in a week or so or whatever, we're going to pick up the filming and I think we're going to finish it out. 
Oh, that is so dope. Well, congratulations. That is, yes. I think that is amazing. So thank you. Glad everything great is happening for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I appreciate y'all for taking the time out to fuck with me, period. Because you know what I'm saying? I've been wanting to get on here for a minute and talk my shit. Oh, we you know love you. Saying? You'll be back. Yeah, you okay, have to come back. back gonna, yes. Uh, I can't <laughs> wait. Especially in person, too, when this whole pandemic shit is over. Like, yeah, because we want to drink with you. Because if you're this fun sober, we got to see you. <laughs> oh, period. I'm bringing Pat and Ron to the party. <laughs> hey, you got to pay for the shots, though, girl. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Much love. Close is out now. Make sure you check it out. Big Bang Feature. Light skin Keisha. Hey. Thank you. Love y'all. Bye.